Hi, Colin with Dow Dynamics. Today in the garage, we're gonna be showing you how to install our new SSC1 fog light kit, like you see here, on a 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. Let's get started. The tools we'll need for this installation is a plastic trim removal tool, a T30 Torx bit, a seven and 10 millimeter socket, a pair of needle nose pliers, a flathead screwdriver, a 5 32nds Allen, and a 3 8 wrench. Coming over to the passenger side of the vehicle, as you can see, we have our wheels turned all the way to the right. That's because we'll be removing three seven millimeter screws holding the mud flap onto the fender liner. Now we can grab our plastic trim removal tool because we'll be removing four plastic push clips holding on the fender liner. With our push clips removed, now we can peel back our fender liner. With our fender liner peeled back, we can grab our ratchet and remove three 10 millimeter bolts holding the fender onto the bumper. The three bolts we'll be removing are here, here, and here. With those 10 millimeter bolts removed, we can now repeat the same steps we used to remove everything on this side of the vehicle on the driver's side. Now we're going to work our way underneath the vehicle, where we'll be removing eight T30 Torx screws holding the skid plate onto the bottom of the bumper. There'll be four rectangular slots, each containing two screws. Next, we're going to move to the engine bay, where we'll be removing six 7mm screws holding the top of the bumper to the radiator trim panel. Next, we're going to be removing eight 10 millimeter bolts holding on the plastic trim panel to the radiator core support. Now we can go ahead and disconnect the headlight connector and pull the wire from the clip on the back of the headlight. You're gonna to wanna to do this on either side of the vehicle. Then in the passenger wheel well, disconnect the body connector. Now we're gonna be popping the front of the fender flare away from the front bumper by compressing a Christmas tree clip on the back of the flare. You can use a pair of pliers to do this. We're just gonna be using our fingers. All you're gonna do is compress it and gently wiggle and pry it away from the vehicle. And now you're gonna do the same thing on the other side of the vehicle. Our next step is to release and pull the front bumper off the vehicle. Now would be a great time to grab a friend to help you do this. We're gonna pull the front bumper off first to show you exactly how we release the clips that held on this front bumper. This clip is the last thing holding the bumper onto the fender. To remove it, all you do is compress the tab on the top and the tab on the bottom, and then gently pry it away from the fender. With the bumper removed, we can now take off the factory fog lamp by disconnecting the fog light harness and removing the three seven millimeter screws holding the fog light onto the bumper. With both of our factory fog lights removed, we can now assemble our pod to our new bracket. To do this, we're gonna slide our bracket with the DD logo face in the back over the back of the pod, lining up the holes on the side of the bracket with the holes on the bottom of the pod. Now we can take our provided 5 30 seconds bolt and slide it through the side of the bracket and through the bottom of the pod, and then take our 3 8 nut with the nylon lock washer facing the outside and put it on hand tight to save room for adjustment. It's important to note the nut should be on the side that's closest to the side marker during the installation. Coming back to the bumper, we can now install our new assembly using the same three seven millimeter screws that we're holding on the factory assembly. Next, we're gonna take our provided T-taps and splice into the power wire on the side marker for the added backlight feature. To do this, you're gonna to wanna to line the blue wire up with the center of the teeth and the T-tap and then snap it closed using a pair of pliers to make sure it's on there nice and secure. Now we can connect our provided adapter harness. We're first gonna plug our DT connector into the back of the C1, then plug our spade connector into our T-tap, and then plug our factory fog light connector in. If you go to turn on the lights and they don't turn on, this connector is polar sensitive, so just flip it 180 degrees and it should come on just fine. 
Now we can go ahead and put the bumper back on and reassemble everything by reversing the same steps we used to take everything off. With everything assembled, we can now make our final aiming adjustments. Once you're happy with where those are aimed, you can just go ahead and tighten down that 5 30 seconds Allen bolt down the rest of the way. As you can see, not only will this kit give you a significant increase in light output over your factory fog lamps, but it'll also give you a brilliant amber running light and a more modern appearance. If you're looking to pick up an SSC1 LED fog light kit for your vehicle or any of our other products, visit our website at dowdynamics.com or use our dealer locator tool to find a dealer near you. Thanks for watching.